Now, 11 minutes of non-stop news and Tim Hedrick's No Wait Weather. 12 News Tonight starts now. Tori Cook is no longer with us, but to the people she touched, her spirit still lives. I think she expressed this love of life. You know, she just loved life, and so many people today lack that love. Good evening, everybody. Tori Cook died about 4 o'clock this afternoon, and tonight people are remembering how she lived. Tori passed away at Pittsburgh's Children's Hospital, and ultimately her body rejected her two new lungs. So many of us followed the Lebanon girl for the last two years as she struggled to beat cystic fibrosis. Tori was in and out of the hospital many times, but never lost that smile that captured our hearts. Today, Tori's body stopped fighting back. She was just 14. Tonight, family members are remembering Tori's incredible courage. They talked to 12 News reporter Gwen Ellis. Can you get it on? For 14 years, the Cook family knew they had a gift they couldn't keep. I called all the kids to get over here. I didn't know this was going to happen. But that doesn't take away the blow of Tori's death or the loss to those who loved her. Her smile, um, her fight, her drive, not only as a niece, but just as another human, um, not as a family member, but just another person in the struggle of life. Tori struggled to beat cystic fibrosis, something she managed to smile through, something everyone knew could end her life early. After her double lung transplant, her family was happy for every day. Somebody else lost, and we gained, and of course today we've lost. But, uh, but I think the gain far outweighs what we've lost today. The two and a half years were good years. To think that she was 14, I couldn't get over seeing her. Uh, so grown up, and uh, having had her that long, and the last two years being so good, mm -hmm. they were wonderful years for her. Years her sister Tiffany didn't have. She died four years ago from complications of cystic fibrosis. It's pretty hard, but after it's all over, Miss, I think we'll be pretty happy because she's in heaven with Tiffany, and it will be easier. The Cook family also says many strangers made the tough times easier for them. And we're grateful for the support of the people. Mm -hmm. People did so much for them and gave them so much, and I guess she gave back somehow in some way. Gwen Ellis, 12 News. Now, Tori's family is still finalizing funeral arrangements. We've had so many people call to ask where to send cards, and with the family's permission, here's their address. 830 Franklin Road, Lebanon, Ohio, 45036. And in case you've missed it, we'll repeat the address a little later in the newscast. Well, in other tri- So now, do you think the time is right? May I say goodbye to pain-filled days and endless lonely nights? I've lived my life and done my best, an example tried to be. So can I take that step beyond and set my spirit free? I didn't want to go at first. I fought with all my might. But something seems to draw me now to a warm and loving light. I want to go. I really do. It's difficult to stay. But I will try as best I can to live just one more day. To give you time to care for me and share your love and fears. I know you're sad and afraid because I see your tears. I'll not be far. I promise that and hope you'll always know that my spirit will be close to you wherever you may go. Thank you so for loving me. You know I love you too. That's why it's hard to say goodbye and end this life with you. So hold me now just one more time and let me hear you say, because you care so much for me, you'll let me go today. And you know, we've had so many people call and ask where to send cards. And uh, with the family's permission, here's the address. 830 Franklin Road. Lebanon, Ohio, 45036.